All right, so in today's Subnautica video, we're going to be looking at the Amarok. I think it's Amarok. We're going to be looking at the Amarok modded precursor submarine. Now, this is a really, really new submarine. Like, came out just a few days ago, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the submarine came out a few days ago, and it's still in the alpha phase, so it's not exactly done yet. So just keep that in mind whenever we're looking at, you know, all the stuff on the submarine. It's not fully done yet, but it still looks pretty darn good considering but you know y'all about to see that in a few seconds so without further ado let's get to it all right so this is our amarok precursor modded submarine it looks super awesome from the outside we got all these nice green precursor lights giving it that cool precursor vibe you know that all the precursor submarines have don't know how many times i've said the word precursor but okay it's got green glass as all the modded precursor submarines do and if we look a little bit closer we can also see the precursor engravings all over the submarine on the sides right here we can see them on the top of the submarine. They look super awesome. And then if we look at the bottom, they're also here as well. So nice little attention to detail on the submarine. We also have a little light on the front, which I can appreciate because some submarines either don't have a light there at all or it's not lit up. So it kind of just makes no sense whenever there's lights coming out of it. If we go over to the other side of the submarine, we can see that where the other side, so the other side of the submarine where this big old square is that we saw right here, this is actually the door into the submarine. That's where you enter or hatch, hatch door, whatever, same thing. But if we look on the other side, that door is not here. Uh, I'm not sure what this is because whenever I tried to swim up to it, I couldn't really interact with it or anything like that. So I don't know if there's plans for this to be used for something else in the future. It looks nice because it differentiates, you know, both of the sides from each other because you got the other side over here that has like a really flat side where the door is and you got this side over here that has, you know, whatever this is protruding out from it. Just to show you, hey, look, the door is not over here. <laughs> go on and go to the other side of the submarine to enter. Heading over to the back of the submarine, we got the engine back here. We can see those same precursor engravings around the top and bottom of the engine, which are, you know, all, always awesome to look at whenever placed correctly. And in this case, they are placed correctly. And the overall shape of the submarine is a bit longer. You know, it's a bit longer submarine. It's not exactly like a giant submarine but it's also just barely medium sized. I feel like it's like, it fits a little bit in between like the large and medium sized submarines. Really unique type of shape, I will say, because I don't think, is there any other submarine that sort of looks like this? Because I, I, don't, I don't really think of anything else that comes to mind. So it's a long submarine, but it also looks pretty cool as well. So that's nice. So I think I've covered just about everything on the exterior of this submarine, you know, with all the different lights on the outside that all look super nice. Like the lights on the outside of the submarine are bright, but they're not like too bright to where it's like blinding you. So I like that. So yeah, I believe that is everything on the exterior of this submarine. So with that, we can head on to the inside of the submarine and see what the inside is talking about. <laughs> all right, so when we head inside the submarine, we're just gonna go up to this door right here. I'm gonna click enter by just clicking on the door. All right, now if we look to the left, we got our little cockpit over there where the seat is, where you pilot the submarine and whatnot. And if we look to the right, we can see we have some storage on the wall. So we have two, four. So we have four things of storage, two on the left and two on the right side. And it has some pretty decent storage as well. Let me look at that. That's, you know, pretty, pretty decent size storage. So we'll look at the pilot seat last. So let me look at the base step of the submarine. The base step of the submarine is 600 meters. So if we head towards the back of the submarine, we can see, you know, we have this like big old glass area, which I really like because again, I'm not sure how many other modded submarines have this type of area going on, but I can appreciate this one having an area like this because it sort of reminds me of the sea trucks area. Whenever you have the sea truck aquarium module like installed on your sea truck, you can actually see all the glass and then you can see like the outside of your submarine and see what's around you and whatnot. So you can do that same thing here, which is super nice to look at. And it also gives some, you know, interior lighting to the submarine. Otherwise it'd just be like really black in here. We can see this like our little building area because you can build in the submarine. So you can just build, I guess you can maybe have like a little bedroom back here, research, etc. you know, whatever you want back here. And then we got our upgrades and our batteries. So if we look to the left, we got our vehicle batteries right here. We have three on the left side, three on the right side for a total of six. And then in the middle, we have our upgrades. Although the vehicle batteries don't change whenever you like take the power cells in and out of them, it's still nice to see that there's like a little glass area right there that you can see where the, you know, where your power cells would be. Yeah, this looks like the perfect place for a window placement. I mean, look at this, this whole thing is flat right here. This looks like the exact spot you would put a window. All right, before we pilot the submarine, let's look at the different depths that you can go with this thing. So the base depth, as I said earlier, is 600 meters. So let's open the upgrades. Let's put the Mark 1 depth module in, increase it to 900 depth. Ooh, what? Increase it to 900 meters, not 900 depth. I don't know what I just said. Let's do the Mark 2 depth module, increase it to 1300. Is it going to do a 4800 again? 
oh my gosh 4700 so yeah no depth module 600 meters with a mark 1 depth module increases it to 900 meters mark 2 1300 meters mark 3 depth module increases your depth to 4700 meters meaning you'll be able to take this submarine essentially anywhere and this submarine honestly considering its size that bone shark is eating something out there considering its size it's really like perfect for like really tight areas like if you had to go and explore a cave or something like that so moving on to the cockpit we have this big old chair sitting right here which i'm assuming is what we're gonna sit in whenever we get in the seat and then we have our little terminal up there so we hop in all right the lights on this submarine are green oh this thing's kind of fast okay hold on it's got a nice little acceleration to it all right so looking at the cockpit of this submarine now when we looked at the because assuming they're made by the same person i'm pretty sure they are made by the same person and i also saw that they wanted some feedback on certain aspects of the submarine so you know want to be as helpful as i can now with this one it's not exactly bright and in fact i really like the way this one looks it looks way better so this terminal in front of us it looks awesome right now however the problem now isn't the fact that it's like too bright or anything like that and in fact i think it looks perfect as it is right now the issue is it's too big now if there is a way for the mod creator to make this terminal just a little bit smaller or at least move it a little bit like towards the bottom of the screen i think that would make this little cockpit view a lot better so if there is a way for the mod creator to make this terminal just a little bit smaller maybe move it down a little or something like that so it's a little bit more out of our way whenever we're in this cockpit that would make this entire i was gonna say way more better that is not proper grammar it would make it almost perfect you know basically perfect as far as handling goes i feel like this thing handles similar to the to the blade class submarine you know it's got some pretty fast handling especially for like a larger precursor submarine i feel like it makes sense in a way that the precursor submarines are kind of like fast and can sort of like turn on a dime and whatnot because they're you know precursor submarines they're more they're like way more advanced than what the Altera submarines would be capable of. So it does make sense, I feel like, to have the precursor submarines be a little bit more agile in nature, you know, unless it was like a giant precursor submarine or something like that. You know, I'm not really having that many like bugs or issues turning and doing all that other stuff. And I'm moving at a pretty decent speed for the size I'm at. If I was a little bit smaller, if the summary was a little bit smaller, it would make sense for me to move a little faster. But I think this speed right here is, you know, pretty pretty okay i would also like to point out that the recipe for the submarine also isn't that bad to make either you only need three titanium ingots two ion cubes three wiring kits and five copper wire because this is only the alpha of the submarine and it looks freaking amazing right now you know it plays pretty well it's a lot more stable than i imagine it but yeah i think this is about all the amrock submarine has to offer so far it looks super awesome from the outside interior looks nice the only thing that needs work on the interior i feel like is that terminal just make it a little bit smaller maybe so it doesn't cover up like too much of the bottom of the screen whenever you're piloting the submarine but other than that i think everything looks pretty good on the submarine fits the fits the precursor vibe pretty well you know especially with all the different wacky shapes that the pre pre-circer what was i about to say the pre that the precursors have it's got some nice attention to detail in a few aspects the glass looks nice you know it's not like that dirty glass like the first blade class submarine had but yeah other than that that is about all i have for y'all thank y'all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see y'all in the next one peace